నమస్కారం ఎవ్రీవన్ మహాశివరాత్రి శుభాకాంక్షలు దిస్ వీడియో ఈజ్ అ డీటెయిల్ రన్ త్రూ ద లిరిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ద కాంపోజిషన్ అక్షయలింగ విభో విచ్ వాజ్ కంపోజ్డ్ బై ముత్తుస్వామి దీక్షితర్ గారు ఐ ఫెల్ట్ వాట్ ఎల్స్ ఈజ్ అ బెటర్ వే ఆఫ్ నోయింగ్ లార్డ్ శివ దాన్ లర్నింగ్ త్రూ దిస్ వండర్ఫుల్ మాస్టర్ వర్క్ క్రియేటెడ్ బై ముత్తుస్వామి దీక్షితర్ గారు దీక్షితర్ క్రితీస్ ఆర్ వెరీ రిచ్ అండ్ గ్రాండ్ అండ్ దే యూజువలీ గివ్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ డీటెయిల్స్ అబౌట్ ద స్థల దట్ ఈస్ ద స్థల పురాణ ఆర్ ద డైటీ ఆన్ విచ్ ద కాంపోజిషన్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్స్ వీ మెట్ హ్యావ్ హర్డ్ దిస్ కాంపోజిషన్ బట్ వెన్ ఐ సర్చ్ ఫర్ దిస్ కాంపోజిషన్ మీనింగ్ ద లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ డీటెయిల్స్ దట్ వర్ పుట్ ఇన్ దిస్ కాంపోజిషన్ అండ్ ఐ ఫెల్ట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ రీచ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ so i was able to bond to this composition more after i knew the meaning and this is a humble attempt to make sure the rasikas understand this composition which helps them in bonding to it and understanding shiva through the work of muthu swami dikshit if there are any corrections or improvements please do let me know and if there are any mistakes please do excuse me so we will start with the pallavi i am going to sing each line and also tell the meaning of it i have taken a couple of references on the web and i have mentioned those references in the video description for reference the pallavi is అక్షయ లింగ విభో అక్షయ ఇఫ్ యూ సీ ద వర్డ్ అక్షయ ఐ థింక్ యూ విల్ రిమెంబర్ అక్షయ పాత్ర ది బౌల్ ఆర్ వెసెల్ దట్ నెవర్ ఎమ్ టీస్ హౌ మచ్ యూ ఎవర్ హౌ మచ్ యూ టేక్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ ఫుల్ సో ద లింగ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ లైక్ ది ఎవర్ లాస్టింగ్ వన్ ద ఇంపెరిషబుల్ and it stands forever so akshaya linga vibho i'm calling vibho vibho is like addressing shiva vibhu vibhu is means the, the leader or the nayaka swayam bho swayam bho the one who has originated by himself i think in general from all the different aspects of shiva that we have learned uh be it through different channels we know that we do not have information before adi yogi what happened before adi yogi everything originated from him so swayambho itself is we do not know the origin where where he has come from so he has created from himself that is a swayambho he came into being by himself అఖిలాండ ప్రభో అఖిల అండ కోటి ప్రభో అఖిల మీన్స్ ఆల్ అండ ఈజ్ వరల్డ్ కోటి కౌంట్లెస్ సో హీ ఈస్ ద మాస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ద కౌంట్లెస్ వర్ల్డ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ యూనివర్స్ ఆర్ కౌంట్లెస్ యూనివర్సెస్ పాహీ ప్రొటెక్ట్ మీ శంభో i'm again shambho is like addressing shambhu shambhu is embodiment of goodness sham means good so shamkara the one who did good and shambho is the source of good and then we come to anupallavi which starts beautifully with అక్షర స్వరూప అక్షర స్వరూప అక్షర ఈజ్ ది ఆల్ఫాబెట్ హీ ఈస్ ద ఫార్మ్ హీ ఈస్ ద రూపం ఆఫ్ ద ఆల్ఫాబెట్ విచ్ మీన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ ది సౌండ్ అండ్ ది ఆల్ఫాబెట్ కేమ్ సో ఆల్ ది లాంగ్వేజెస్ ఆర్ డిరైవ్ ఫ్రమ్ దట్ స్టార్టింగ్ లెటర్ విచ్ ఒరిజినేటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిమ్ 
अमित प्रता अमिता मीन्स नो लेस मिता इज लेस अमिता मीन्स नॉट लेस लाइक ऑल द बेस्ट क्वालिटीज अमित प्रताप आरूढ़ वृषवाह वृषा इज बुल वृषवाह सो द वन हू एज सेंडेड द बुल एज हिज वाहना द नंदी एज हिज वाहना इज शिवा जगन मोह द एंटायर वर्ल्ड इज फैसिनेटेड बाय हिम दक्ष शिक्षण दक्ष तर दक्ष शिक्षण वी ऑल नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल माइट हैव हर्ड द स्टोरी ऑफ दक्ष हुज डॉटर इज साती एंड हाउ ही पनिश्ड दक्ष फॉर हिज शोइंग ईगो एंड ऑल सो दक्ष शिक्षण ही इज द वन हू who was very deft at punishing daksha and shiva is better than anyone else in imparting that to daksha that is daksha tara kshatar suralakshana vidhi vilakshana suralakshana sura means god suralakshana so he is he has he has the qualities that that make him the god so if you look at shiva qualities they are sura qualities so he is a perfect example of the sura vidhi vilakshana vidhi is the responsibility and no one else is better than doing a job in the most straight possible way that is vilakshana in the in the best possible way he does the job lakshya lakshana lakshya is aim so if aim has a swarupam it is him lakshya lakshya sudha bhakshana the one who consumes amrutam i don't know why the reference is mentioned like who consumes the amrutam he is in fact the one who who has that uh, uh that garala kantha which is neela kantha which is the the poison that has come out of the churning of the ocean he is in fact known to be a neela kantha but here it, it is mentioned as sudha bakshana sudha is nectar or amrutam i will just sing that daksha shikshana दक्ष शिक्षण दक्ष तर सुरलक्षण विधि विलक्षण लक्ष्य लक्षण बहु विचक्षण सुधा भक्षण गुरु कटाक्ष वीक्षण गुरु कटाक्ष वीक्षण the vikshan of his the glance of the lord shiva is like the guru which is always like you know setting us in the, in the right way and taking care of us so his vikshana is like the guru kataksham which closes the anupallavi and in the charanam it starts beautifully with the badari vana which is बदरी वन मूल बदरी वन मूल बदरी वेन आई सर्च फॉर वॉट इज बदरी इट सेज इट इज जुजुबे विच इज वॉट वी कॉल इन तेलुगु इज रेगी पल्लू द वन दट कम्स इन दिस सीजन इन द जानुअरी और सो दट वी यूजली यूज इट फॉर सूर्यनारायण मूर्ति द रेड कलर फ्रूट विच इज वेरी स्मॉल वन and uh, which is kind of sore uh, and some has a reference uh, there are other references like it is it could be badri nath um, but badri vana mula naika sahita so i think parvati devi when she was meditating maybe th- this is a reference to that she was med- parvati devi she was meditating under the badri vana under the badri tree or it could be that this composition where this is composed um this is 
this composition is is actually composed on kivalur temple this is there is a temple called kivalur in tiruvarur on which the composition is composed in fact there is a picture also in the web which you can find it in the reference where this composition was composed it could be also um, referring to that stala so badari vana mula naika sahita so the one in the company of the goddess residing and residing under a badari tree badari vana mula naika sahita the next one is bhadra kalisha bhadra kalisha o lord of goddess bhadra kali it seems there is a bhadra kali shrine in the temple premises where this composition was composed bhakta vihita bhakta vihita the one who is very amicable to bhaktas like we say user friendly bhakta friendly the lord shiva we call bhola shankara as soon as you think of him he is there for you madana jana ka madana jana ka di deva mahita madana janaka adi madana janaka is madana's father is vishnu adi etc etc mahita so the one who is worshiped by vishnu and the other gods maya ka माया कार्य माया कार्य कलना रहिता व्हिच इज ही इज नॉट अफेक्टेड और ही इज नॉट इवन ही इज डिवॉइड ऑफ द वर्क ऑफ माया वी ऑल लिव इन अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ माया इल्यूजन एवरीवन हैज द एवरीवन व्हाट व्हाट डू वी थिंक ऑफ आवर बॉन्डेज आवर इमोशंस एवरीथिंग इज एन इल्यूजन एंड शिवा इज nowhere in that maya like the work of maya is definitely or not on him the one who is devoid of workings of maya sadaya guru guhata ta guna ti ta sadaya guru guhata ta sadaya sa good daya so the daya itself is good sadaya guru guha which is subramanyeshwara or it could be guru guha refers to the signature of mutha swami dikshitar i think here it is subramanyeshwara swami the father of subramanyeshwara gunatita he cannot be described or objectified using adjectives so he is he is the one who is transcending all the gunas so he is this he is that no sometimes we say he is nirakara there is no form of him so you cannot measure him you cannot adjectify him so that is gunatita he is beyond our description which itself is very beautiful sadhu janu shankar navanita sadhu jano peta the one approached by noble people sadhu jana upeta shankara the one who does good shankara navanita hridaya so the one whose hridayam is like navanitam like butter and there is a beautiful line that follows after this navanita hridaya perhaps these two are linked sadhu jano peta shankar nav navanita hridaya
ಹೃದಯ ವಿಭಾತ ತುಂಬುರು ಸಂಗೀತ ನವನೀತ ಹೃದಯ ಸೊ ದ ನವನೀತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೃದಯ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ತುಂಬುರು ಸಂಗೀತ ತುಂಬುರು ಇಸ್ ಸಪ್ ತುಂಬುರು ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಯಾರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದ a lot of things that i got to know after going through this composition so tumburu is the foremost among the gandharvas and he is the one described to perform in the courts of the deities kubera and indra as well as sing the praises of vishnu so tumburu narada sangeetam so he is the gandharva who plays music and uh, so vibhata is uh, the day break when night turns into day the telavar jamuna suprabhatam vibhata when night becomes light that is at dawn or day break at that time on hearing tumburu's music his heart melts so see how wonderful it is hrinka sambhuta hrinkara sambhuta so we a lot of people know that omkaram is like the adi sound originated from the adi yogi perhaps hrim kara is also a mantra it's a specific mantra for the heart on all levels so this is what i got to know reading from the web but i would be happy if someone corrects me or tells more about hrim kara sambhuta is source so from him the hrim karam originated he magi re nadha he magi re nadha he ma is bangaram the gold he magi re nadha so he is the lord of the golden mountain the meru parvatam is also uh, mentioned here sada shrit kalpak mahiruha mahiruha is a tree mahiruha has a very beautiful meaning originating from earth kalpaka mahiruha is the wish fulfilling tree the kalpa vriksha so sada ashrita sada ashrita like whenever you think of him he is there for you the lord shiva sada ashrita like he is there for us like a kalpa vriksha tree like how much you ask for it he will always be bestowing you with that sada ashrita kalpaka mahiruha padambuj bhavarad gaj turaga padambuj bhavarad gaj turaga padambuj his padam his feet are like ambuja like the lotus petals and bhava bhava is this universe it seems oh the origin of the universe it seems we usually say bhava is like the worldly matters radha gaja turaga padadi so radha gaja turaga radha is chariot gaja is elephant turaga must be a horse the next line follows padadi samyuta chaitro utsava so radha gaja turaga padadi samyuta so with all this padadi with the soldiers samyuta chaitra utsava dikshitar has mentioned about chaitra utsavam so a, a festival that is in the chaitra mas chaitra masa so there must there must have been a festival in the chaitra masa in that place uh, which is not specifically mentioned here but the reference is to a, the procession that is happening in the month of chaitra festivities sada shiva sachidanand maya sada shiva sada shiva sachidanand maya sat chit anandamayam sat is truth the existence chit is the consciousness anandam is the bliss so he is the embodiment of all these three he is gunatita but he is sachidananda maya and i have i have also mentioned the link in this video description where i have performed this composition 
which can be heard you will see a difference when you go through the meaning of it and then listen to the composition so as i mentioned earlier this is a humble attempt to make sure that these jewels reach common man and the rasikas as well and also understand about lord shiva through the eyes through the work of the great people like muttu swami dikshit garu and i'm so glad to be doing this the reason i have done as i mentioned earlier i was able to bond to this composition more after i understood this so i want you to be feeling that happy mahashivaratri om namah shivaya namaskaram